When you're looking to buy a graphics card, you want to keep in mind that a graphics card is just simply a smaller version of your entire computer, dedicated to only one job, processing graphics. Generally, when people buy a graphics card, you, they are looking to do um, video editing or maybe even video gaming, um, more latter than the, the prior. Uh, so what, what you have to remember is that with the graphics card, just like a computer, it has its own things, like it's like a GPU, which is a graphics processing unit, um, which runs at a certain frequency. Uh, and then you have the memory on board the graphics card, uh, as well as the bus, how fast that process information gets back to the rest of the computer. So to kind of um, go over that, I pulled up a website, nvidia.com, uh, to kind of uh, look at this. The, uh, the website um, is NVIDIA, but they're, they're also, uh, the, the primary competitor to NVIDIA is ATI, which is owned by AMD now. And um, those two have been in competition for many, many, many years. And you'll have people that will swear by one versus the other, but that's neither here nor there. They're pretty much the same thing. Um, so what you have to remember is that with the graphics card, it has the, the GPU has like a however many cores uh, like a PC has. So whether it have two cores or four cores, the more cores, the better. Um, and it uh, operates at a certain speed, that's the frequency, that's the megahertz, or uh, they're probably approaching gigahertz by now. Um, so uh, this one here that I'm looking at is 600 megahertz. Um, the, uh, ha however many uh, textures it can process at a per second is also something you want to look at. Um, however many pipelines it has, so basically when the, when the graphics card is drawing whatever image that it's drawing, however many things it can go in and out at the same time. The more, obviously, the better. Um, if it's made for a certain DirectX version, uh, DirectX is actually a software component inside of Windows. So if the card can take advantage of a higher DirectX version, um, for instance, 10, the new graphics cards are 10, um, the better. You know? So if something is made for something that's a higher version, obviously, it's going to be a little bit better. Uh, we have the memory, uh, how much is on board. Uh, so uh, currently we're at about a gigabyte that's on board for the high-end uh, cards. Uh, for average gamers, you want to take a look at probably around 256 to 512, uh, which is not a hard thing to, to find. The frequency at which that memory runs, the higher the better. Um, also, um, NVIDIA and both ATI use version numbers uh, or model numbers for the graphics card to kind of give you what generation that graphics card is in. So say for instance generation 8 of uh, the GeForce models may not have a faster GPU but it may have the same amount of memory. So you kind of have to be careful about that. Generally the model numbers will give you all the information that you need.